everything is working great. You know, it is an ever evolving process. Today, what we're going to talk about while I check all of these things, you may be wondering why is she showing me a Heineken screen for our training today and make sure you can hear me here. Today, what we're going to talk about. Okay, cool. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is not Heineken. I know you may be surprised, but I'm actually uh, going to show you today some different ways that you can use the accordion element. Now, a lot of times when you use an accordion element on your website, you actually have to use coding and different things, um, different scripts to be able to make that work. But Builder All makes this so super, super simple. OK, so I just wanted to give you some examples of how we can use this, and then I'm going to show you how you can can actually use it okay um, it's a very simple element on the website but you do have to kind of get some ideas of how you want to use that and I think uh, you know while while a lot of us designers are really creative sometimes we need a place to start okay so um, every time I want to use a new feature or something like that I always want to look and see what are other people doing with that how are they using it and then that kind of gives me some ideas of how I could use it on my own website you never ever have to start from scratch, okay? So um, let's go ahead and I just wanted to show you we're on the Heineken website here and you'll see that we actually, this right here is actually an accordion file or accordion element, all right? Now what makes it an accordion is when you click here and you'll see that it actually, um, it actually unhides or reveals a different line of text here. Okay, so you, it's actually like a box and you're clicking the button and then it reveals the hidden area there. Okay, so if you look down here, um, there's more. Now, why would you use this? Why would you not just put all the text here? Well, it's really hard for us as website visitors to come to a website and see a lot of text. So if I did all of these things here, let me just show you what this would look like if we didn't use that. So we just expand these and you can see this is a long, long page with a lot of different accordions. All right. So uh, as the website visitor, we would come here and we would be like, oh, wow, OK, there's a lot of text and just visually for our eyes, we may just skip away because we're like, I don't want to read all this. or I don't have time to read all of this. But if you um, if we minimize these here, when the website visitor comes to the page, it's more visually appealing because you can quickly see without scrolling too far if this has the answers that you're looking for, okay? So uh, this is just a much better visually appealing way of displaying information. So another example um, is actually Kimberly Clark Professional. They actually have a fax page and the fax um, are actually a great, um, it's very commonly used when it comes to accordions. So you can see here, uh, they have the first one exposed here. So you just click here and then it reveals that text. Um, how can I contact the uh, Kimberly Clark professional sales representative? They can click here and get that information. So um, this is how they're using it, uh, just making it very visually appealing, okay? It just adds a different layer. So uh, the next one that I wanted to show you is actually Beats by Dr. Dre. If you look on his website here, he has some accordions. He has his you know, headphones and the earphones, speakers and accessories. These are all of the, um, it's actually very, very smart what they've done here because these are the categories of all of his products. And then you can simply choose right here um, below the product um, the exact model that you're looking for. And then of course he has the top, these are probably the top performing that people are looking for, but they can click here and see additional options as well. Okay. So, uh, that's just another really cool way of using the accordion. So uh, there's also another website here, uh, Tesco. You can see they have, again, frequently asked questions, um, COVID-19. And you see what they did here is actually put accordions inside of accordions, okay? Um, this can slow your website down, so just be aware of that. Let me uh, refresh the screen on our broadcast page. If this is your first time joining us, 
Uh, make sure to click the link in the description. You can get access to the broadcast page where you can um, ask me your questions live and I will read them because I am live. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that you knew that. Okay. So uh, what they have is, uh, you see here, you can click to get COVID-19 information, but then they have, you know, subcategories or sub um, accordion files, okay? Because if you click here, now you get more information, okay? So if this, if all of this information was expanded, it would be very, very hard for the user to get the information. Right now, as soon as we land on this page, we can see the top topics, and then we can even go into subtopics by expanding the accordion file, okay? So the next one I wanted to show you is um, this website here. It's a uh, corporate Ferrari. Okay. So Ferrari is using accordions on their website. Um, and they basically, this is just the question and answering. So they have their top questions here. And you can also see um, how they kind of make this visually appealing because you can see what is the question. It's big and bold right here. And then you have more text here. Okay. It's just more visually appealing again. Um, if you click there, you get the answers to your questions. Okay. So, um, couple more. So here we have Dow. Um, Dow is actually using an accordion file in a little different way. Uh, so that's why I definitely wanted to show you this. They have their events here. Okay. So their events calendar. Now it would be confusing if you had the events calendar and, um, you know, you had all of the previous events and all of that, it would be confusing to have that on one screen, but you can actually uh, create an accordion file and choose by the year like they did. So if we wanted to see what the past events were from last year, we could actually click here to get the accordion and then it opens up uh, to all of their events from the previous year. Samsung as well. Uh, they use an accordion file as their frequently asked questions. So you see um, here you can decide whether you want to purchase one of these items or go to the accessories. And then you also have, you know, the frequently asked questions and answers that will be revealed by clicking there. Okay. So um, Parafix, uh, they also use an accordion file. And here it's actually the history of their company. So it's like a timeline. Um, you can see all of the years here that they're highlighting. And then if you click here, you can actually get some more information and they actually added images too as well. So once you get inside your Builderall dashboard and you access the Cheetah website builder, you will get to a page and you will see um, if you open up the side panel here that we have panels, which is what this is here. Um, this is just a, basically, if you think of panels, it's the wall that your elements sit on. Elements are like the, the pictures, um, and then the, um, the panel is like the wall, okay? So we have a panel already created here, and now we need an element. So if you see here, we actually have a accordion element. Sorry, I had to get a drink. Okay. Um, so we do have some styles here and I just wanted to show you kind of the difference. Um, it's very tempting to choose a template that's already made for you, especially this one. I really like this one. So I'm actually just going to drag this. If you left click and drag it to your panel, um, you will be able to bring that in. Now, this doesn't match, <laughs> obviously. And, um, you know, if you go, let, let's say you brought this into your website and you're like, well, I need... Um, I need five accordions instead of four. Um, that's where it can really get complicated because what a lot of people want to do is they want to click here to add an extra accordion, but it's not formatted in any way. You can see these corners are rounded. These corners are straight. The font is not the same. It doesn't have this little um, arrow element and the colors are not the same. But what you can do is actually just click on here and delete this and I'll show you an easier way to do that. So when you have the accordion file and it is uh, rotated like this, so it's actually a gradient color here and a gradient color here, but then they flip flop on the opposite. Okay. If you want to add a fifth panel, the best way is to choose the one that you want to use. So if I'm going in order of this, this style here, um, I need to have this duplicated 
underneath this, okay? So what you can do is click here inside of the accordion, okay? And let me make this clear before I show you this. This here, when you click on the outside, you'll see up here it says accordion group, all right? So the accordion group is, uh, let me minimize that. The accordion group is the box that all of the accordions sit on, okay? It houses all the different accordions. So if you want to edit the accordion group or the accordion box, you can click here to um, open up the editor. And uh, it's the same option here on the side, just whatever you prefer. If you like the floating menu or you like to open it up here, um, you could go to the settings here. But um, let me click here to access. Uh, so you'll see you can change any of the colors here. Um, there's some uh, padding options if you want to customize all that. Here's where you can choose the different colors. Um, and you can also add borders. You can round off the border. You can add shadow. Um, you can add tags. Or you can um, adjust the positioning or the layering of the accordion. Now, when you click in the actual accordion, the individual accordions, you'll see that you have some different options here, okay? So you can adjust the size, the height, and the container height. Um, you can actually adjust the tablet width. You can adjust the colors here. So if you wanted to grab this exact hex code, you could click here, and that would be the exact hex code there. Okay, so that's just another little tip for you. You can also add borders. And remember, everything that you do here is not going to affect any of the other accordions or the accordion group, okay? This is just going to affect this one accordion, all right? Um, so it, you can round off the edges. Um, you can put a border around your container. You can um, change the container radius. You can change the headline, the font, and the size and color of your text. Uh, you can also add tags, and you can also adjust the uh, layering here, okay? So if you want to duplicate an accordion and remain in this style, this, this was like, I can't tell you when I first started using this, how much frustration this led me. So this is why I'm really, really um, digging in deep on this aspect of this, okay? Uh, so if you want to duplicate this, say you need five and you have um, this here, so you wanna duplicate the style, what you need to do is remember that every one you duplicate, it's going to go at the end. So what we would wanna do is go here to this specific accordion and then you can click clone element. Okay, so when it duplicates it, you see that it adds it to the bottom. And now we did very little work. You can see on the inside too, we still have this image. We have this text. Everything is the same font, same size, same positioning. It will save you so much time just by understanding that concept of how to um, add an accordion to that. Now, if you wanted to take it away, all you'd have to do is highlight the accordion and then you wanna just click delete, okay? So, um, you know, this is a, a super cool accordion style and I definitely like it, but, um, you know, it is kind of bulky and sometimes you want to choose some really cool options like maybe, um, you know, this option here if we wanted to recreate that. Um, it doesn't look as bulky as... Uh, let me get back there, as this one does, okay? But that's really easy to do. And if you wanted to just start from scratch, all you need to do is go here to uh, the accordion elements again, and then you can just pull in this, um, this blank element, okay? So let's say that we wanted to recreate um, a system kind of like this, okay? What we could do is actually, let me just... Um, Okay, it's not gonna let me. Let me see if I can just copy this text. No. Okay, so we won't worry about that. We'll just go back here. Um, what we could do is just take this one accordion, okay? And, um, you know, we can adjust the colors here, but if you wanted to make it transparent like it is here so that it just takes up you know, you're just basically a blank canvas. You just want the words to pop. You don't want any, you know, you don't want the box. You don't want any of that stuff. You could just go back here. Um, you can change the background color. You could make it transparent here. Let me make sure I'm actually in here. 
in, see, I made my own, I broke my own rule there. Um, it can be confusing. So we want to access the accordion, the actual accordion, not the group. And then you can make it transparent there. Okay. Now, if we wanted to change the text, um, of course, we could go to headline here and we could change, you know, what it says here. Like if we wanted to say, um, this is where you are going to get the answer to your question. Now, I know you can't see that. Um, so what you would want to do, since it's against a dark background, we can just lighten it up here. Okay. You can make it. Um, you could change the font, like I was saying, you could change the size here if you wanted to. Um, now you can see that it, the size actually makes it, um, if you wanted to choose this style or this size of font, it actually makes it too large for this box. So what you need to do is go up here to size and then, um, or actually, let me see here. I think it's container radius. Um go up to size. I think it's this one. Oops. Nope. Um, let me play with this. Okay. I know that there is a way. Oh, I think it, here it is. Here, here it is. Um, to change the width of the accordion. Okay. Inside the group, you have to change the, the size of the actual accordion group. Okay. So what I want to do is, um, this adjusts the padding. So let me see here. So yeah, you can do that. Um, you can change the space at the top. You can change space at the bottom here. Um, and then you just have that accordion, right? I know there's a way, um, this will drive me nuts. I know that there's a way to change the size, but now that I'm all digging into it, I cannot remember how you change the size. But for this example, let's just go ahead. We'll go back to the heading. Um, we will, I know right after this is over, I will find it and then be like, oh, I should have told you in the video. Um, so let's go ahead and change the size of the header here to make sure that it's on one line. We could also uh, reduce the height here. Obviously not that much um, so that it looks better. Let's just make this 100. And, um, you know, we could add some text here. And let's say um, this is the answer you were asking for. And, of course, you could add an image. Like if we wanted to add, let's go back to elements. Um, we could add an image here. Just drag it. Oops. So there's our image and then just to change the image like anything else we could just click here we go to general settings and we could use any of the images from our repository here so maybe i wanted to tell them about an ebook or a checklist i could choose that here and of course you know we could have our call to action so we could put all of this in there we could even change the text here as well if we wanted to make this text um, a different color like maybe we wanted the box to be transparent as well so we could make this white and uh, we could click right click in the box um, and then we could go to general colors um, container let's see here i know that it's in the container um general colors Oh, container color. Here we go. All right. So you can just make that transparent as well. So let's actually see. Um, and then actually, let's let's go ahead. Um, if you wanted to add, let's let's duplicate this. OK, let's say this is so cool. We love this. Let's duplicate this accordion inside of the accordion group. OK, so I'm just going to duplicate. And now we have two of the exact same style inside of our accordion. So I'm going to save that. And let's actually go ahead and look at the, um, the preview here. So we'll go to preview. So this is what our website would look like, you know, with, of course, we would want more design here. We would want, you know, kind of like they have here, um, you know, maybe we want to add some elements like this so they know to click. Um, we want to, 
you know, make sure that all, all of this is obviously congruent, right? We could add, you know, if we wanted to add a border to our container, that's what, you know, this dash line would be. So we could definitely customize it any way we want to. And that's what's so great about Builderall. So if you click here, you'll see that it opens it up and then you have the information, you have your call to action, you have your image. And then if you choose to minimize it, then you go to the next one. And same thing, you have your call to action and your images and all of that, okay? So I hope you guys, um, you know, you saw really how awesome having the ability to just drag over the accordion element and start customizing it. And really you can get any look and style that you want to. There are so many uses for accordions. Um, you can even create an actual course in an accordion, but I will uh, let you know that it is a heavy element. So if you load up your website with a bunch of videos and, and accordions and all of that, it will slow it down. So um, just beware of that. But if you had some kind of question and answer um, section of your page or your website, definitely an accordion is a great way to do that or e-commerce or any of those examples that I showed you. So um, I hope you learned some something today. Uh, Shawana's here. She says, great training. Yay. Thank you so much. Um, so I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same